Welcome to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a studio tour. Now the space isn't fully finished yet, but it is usable. This room that we're in, it used to be quite dark and felt very enclosed. And originally it only had a window in it. But by adding some double doors, it's really opened the space up and brought more light into it. It also as well gives a good view out onto this part of the garden and we get plenty of visitors through the day and also in the evening. On the top of this sideboard I've got a Caran Dash retail unit and I would use this to sell the products that I used when I went to shows or classes. It's got the Grafwood pencils in it, I've also put Credicolor 9H pencils in there, it's got kneadable erasers, graphite blocks, blending stumps, just basically pretty much anything that I would be using. In the top drawer I've got some catalogues for suppliers, more retail stock, pencils, kneadable erasers, as well as darts for embossing texture into the paper. The next drawer down we've got some more graphite pencils. There are also some Caran d'Ache Luminance colour pencils in here as well. Makeup pads and makeup sponges and these are used to create backgrounds on pictures. We've also got post-it notes and these are used to be placed on reference material to help show the position that you're actually working on. They're really quite useful for that. I also have this Aperture MC light. Now this is basically a video light but it's ideal for if I really want to get some extra light onto a picture in a certain area. And then there's just some general stuff which I may use from time to time. The bottom drawer contains masking tape plus any of the materials that I've done any reviews on for the channel, such as the electric erasers and the kneadable erasers. On the top shelf of the cupboard we've got pencil kits. Now I'll take these to classes because all pencils vary from one make to the other so it's just much easier to know that everybody's using the same thing. We've also got cotton wool as well as some more graphite blocks. On the bottom we've got some reference books and a Nutribullet and a pepper grinder which I used in another video to make some graphite powder and I'll put a link in the description below to that one if you're interested. I've also got a box of pencils which are all my used pencils and I still keep them because they still have a use. There's also some more graphite powder as well as my electric eraser. The printer that I use is a Canon Pro 2000. It is a 12 colour machine and uses light fast ink. It can also print from a roll of paper up to 24 inches wide by however long the roll is. This is also great for printing out large reference photographs. For the past year I've been using this FlexiSpot sit-stand desk as it has been ideal for shooting most of my video. Wheels have been added to make it easier to move around and what you won't have seen in any of the videos is that it actually serves two purposes because the computer and keyboard are fitted underneath. For many years I used to work on this Della Rowney easel because where we used to live was very small and I didn't really have a dedicated space to work in. It was also very convenient to pack up and take to show. But really it's not very stable and particularly when working on larger pieces it really is quite unsteady. In comparison the wall easel is absolutely rock solid and it also gives me the ability to be able to work on very large pieces. Also it is very easy to be able to transfer the pencils and materials that I am using between the desk and the easel. As well as also providing a very stable platform to photograph my work. For lighting I use two Neewa 660s and as LED panels go these are relatively inexpensive. The colour temperature is adjustable as well as the brightness and they can even be run on a battery pack if needed. So that's a look at my studio and if you have enjoyed this video then please remember like, subscribe, 
uh, leave a comment. I do read them. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.